certain rules of cruise ship etiquette that may not be written down by the cruise line, but you should be following them. I've got a list of them up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. If you're planning your first cruise, you may be wondering about what proper etiquette is like on board. Basically, do's and don'ts, right? And you can relax, by the way, knowing that many of the protocols have relaxed and cruising is neither as formal nor traditional as it used to be. So don't worry, it's nothing out of the Titanic. That, however, does not mean you can act however you want to. Knowing proper cruise ship etiquette will ensure that you don't feel disrespectful or underdressed, as well as make sure that you're able to contribute to a positive atmosphere. Number one, and I'm starting with this, I think it's the most important one. Be polite to crew members. Crew members work really hard to ensure that you have a great vacation experience. If you pass your stateroom attendant in the hallway, time a moment to strike up a brief conversation by asking them how about their day. They'll certainly appreciate it. And if an issue arises that requires a visit to guest services, remain calm and level-headed. Guest services will want to help you as best they can, and getting angry will not help the situation. Last but not least, if you're talking to a crew member and they're giving you an instruction, follow it. It's not a suggestion. It's the rule. Number two, get a new plate when returning to the buffet. While you might think that you're helping crew members by reusing the same plate in the buffet, it's actually frowned upon. Serving yourself on a used plate could lead to the spread of germs. So if you want another serving of food, totally fine. Simply leave your dirty dishes at the table and the windjammer staff will be walking around to clean up the table between servings at the end of the meal. Grab a new plate for every single time you go to the windjammer buffet. Number three, don't be a chair hog. Please, please, please do not be one of those people who reserves pool chairs for the entire sea day, especially if you're getting there really early in the morning but not intending to get there actually to use them until much later in the day. If you do not plan on using a chair for hours after claiming it, you should not leave your belongings there and prevent people who want to enjoy using the pool deck in the moment from doing so. Cruisers on select Royal Caribbean vessels have reported that the staff members have begun taking measures to prevent guests from saving chairs on the pool deck for a prolonged period of time. But after a certain amount of time, they will remove your belongings and leave the note telling you where you can collect them. But bottom line is don't be part of the problem. Next up, be patient. With thousands of people on board a cruise ship, you may find yourself having to wait in lines more than you thought, whether it's at the wind jammer for breakfast, during the day at the water slides or floor rider, or when disembarking the ship. Don't push, shove other people out of the way to get to the front of the line. Be patient because everybody is trying to enjoy their vacation as well. My next cruise ship etiquette rule is good for not only cruise ships, but in life in general. Wait for people to get off the elevators before getting on. Regardless of the time of day, cruise ship elevators are usually packed. Before you try to squeeze on, see if anyone else is getting off first. As an alternative, you can take the stairs to bypass the elevators altogether. Not only is this a quicker way to move about the ship, but it also leaves space on the elevators for those who really rely on it. Another good tip is to be mindful when navigating throughout the cabin hallways. If you're trying to sleep, you don't want to hear a loud group of people outside your cabin. Even if it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon, you don't know who's returned to their cabin for an afternoon nap. Likewise, your neighbor might be somebody who enjoys sleeping or retiring early. Avoid blasting music from your cabin or mingling for too long in the hallways, especially late at night or early in the morning. It can be disruptive to other guests. My next cruise ship etiquette rule is quiet down when the captain or other personnel are making announcements. Whenever an announcement comes on the PA system, it would behoove you to listen to what they have to say. Often they'll be regarding disembarking in ports of call, weather, onboard activities, etc. Rather than chatting amongst yourselves, take a moment to pause and listen to what they're saying as their announcements pertain to making your cruise ship vacation better. Maybe it's about a show getting canceled due to weather conditions or the ship being cleared faster than anticipated. Another cruise ship no-no is sharing your drink package benefit with others. Due to how expensive a drink package can be, it's tempting to want to share your drink package benefits with other people who don't have a drink package. Sharing, however, is strictly prohibited. If you're caught, you risk getting your package revoked without a refund. If one person in your stateroom who is of legal drinking age purchased the unlimited alcohol package, you must get it for every other guest of the same age. In other words, drink packages are bought per person, not per room. Sharing is less likely to occur if everybody is 21 years old and older and has their own drink package. But additionally, you should not give your drinks to minors while you will be not kicked off the ship for the first time you're caught. Face expulsion from the ship if you continuously disregard their warnings. When you're on a shore excursion, make sure you're on time to any reservations you make, including those tours. Out of respect for everybody, you should always arrive on time for your reservations. If you're late to a shore excursion, you'll likely be left behind. Even if they do happen to wait, you do not want to be the reason that they kept everybody else waiting for you. Likewise, arriving to onboard reservations is polite to those who might have reservations after yours. Perhaps the specialty restaurant you're dining at is fully booked for the evening, and there's another party dining right after you. 
if there's a show that you want to see, you may find you cannot be seated if you show up late. Another really good idea is to know your limits, especially in relation to alcohol. Purchasing a Royal Caribbean drink package does not give you the excuse to drink until you're belligerent. Drinking is often the root cause of when it comes to issues between passengers and someone who may have had one too many drinks and decides they want to try and instigate something is never great. So the best way to minimize this type of behavior is to limit your alcohol intake. Plus, you don't want to be stumbling around the ship and feeling ill in port the next day. Stay hydrated throughout your cruise, especially if you're consuming alcohol. Another bit of cruise ship etiquette is to respect the dress code. While you will not be denied service for dressing casually on formal night, you may feel out of place. Don't worry, though. You do not have to pull out a ball gown or tuxedo, but you will want to wear a nice pair of pants and shirt or dress. This also means you should dress for the occasion and not wear anything too revealing or that might otherwise be deemed inappropriate around families with kids. You do not need to have to dress for the theme nights, but it sure does make the cruise a lot more fun. Another really important rule is don't throw anything overboard. Cruise lines are actively working to decrease their environmental impact. By throwing things into the ocean, you're choosing to disturb a delicate ecosystem. If you're caught, you could face a fine or removal from the ship at the next port of call. If you have trash, dispose of it properly in one of the trash bins. It's also really important to take responsibility of your kids. Royal Caribbean has various rules in place for minors, and those under 18, for instance, have curfews that they should abide by. Likewise, children should not be left unintended on the pool deck. Parents, please make sure that they have an eye on your kids at all times. Should they need to use the restroom or get hurt, you should be able to assist them immediately. When it comes to the youth clubs, children should be picked up by the designated closing time in the evenings. It's likely that the staff has other duties elsewhere on the ship, or it may one of their only times off. Next up, do not remove the daily gratuities to save money. Crew gratuities are an additional fee that you pay on top of your base fare. As of April 2023, guests in standard cabins, which include junior suites, pay $16 per person per day, while those in grand suites pay $18.50 per person per day for their gratuities. They can either be prepaid or added to your onboard account to be settled at the end of the cruise. And while you can go speak to guest services to have the amount adjusted or completely removed, you should first speak to them and let them try to resolve the issue. Some people try to remove them in order to give cash tips to the crew members they interact with. However, this impacts those who work behind the scenes and receive a percentage of your daily gratuities. But most importantly, it's okay if you tip in cash. I'm not saying that's a problem, but don't remove gratuities because you're running out of cash or you want to save money in your cruise. It's completely disrespectful of the method there. I agree gratuities should not be as compulsory as they are. I would prefer they be part of the cruise fare. Until that happens, though, you are obliged to pay the gratuities. You might think this next one is something that shouldn't have to be mentioned, but I'm going to mention anyway, and that is be polite to your fellow passengers. A little kindness can go a long way. If you find yourself in a situation where tensions are raised, don't try and resolve it yourself. Find a crew member and alert them of what's going on, whether it's a chair hog or somebody picking a fight or another reason. The last thing you want to do is spend any part of your crew speaking with security. Everybody is on board to have a great time and working together to treat everybody with respect will create a better environment for all. Next up, wash your hands. Even though many COVID protocols have been relaxed, you should still frequently wash your hands with soap and warm water, especially when entering the buffet. At a minimum, you should be using your hand sanitizer that is located throughout the ship. There are other precautions that you should take, such as coughing and sneezing in your elbow. When thousands of passengers on board a single vessel, it's easy for illnesses to spread, and it's not just COVID, just basic stuff. So do yourself a favor and wash your hands. My next cruise ship etiquette recommendation is to make sure you complete the muster drill as soon as possible. Royal Caribbean's muster drill is done primarily through their app, meaning you don't have to worry about gathering with everybody else on board the ship at a dedicated time in one place. This means that completing the drill is easier than ever. In fact, you can watch the mandatory safety video prior to even boarding the ship. The only thing you'll have to wait to do is visiting your assigned muster station. When you get there, the crew member will scan your set sail pass or sea pass to mark that you've attended. The ship cannot set sail until everybody on board has completed all parts of the drill. So make sure you get yours done as soon as possible. If you're a smoker, make sure you only smoke in designated smoking areas. In order to facilitate a pleasurable experience for all guests, cruise ships have designated smoking areas on board. This means you cannot start smoking a cigarette wherever you want. Smoking on your stateroom balcony, despite being outdoors, is strictly prohibited. Common smoking areas include one side of the pool deck, as well as a section of the casino. And note that e-cigarettes can only be used in smoking areas as well. Keep in mind, these rules about smoking are not so much only about, you know, the respect of people who aren't smoking, but fire hazards. Fire is the number one threat on a cruise ship, so that's why Royal Caribbean makes sure you can only smoke in certain areas. Something else you should not do on your Royal Caribbean cruise is try to bring any prohibited items on board. There are some prohibited items that are obvious, like illegal drugs, candles, and fireworks. Others, however, are common household items, like clothes seamers and electrical extension cords. 
While showing up with a steamer will not get you kicked off the ship, when your luggage is delivered to your room, you'll find a note that says your item was confiscated and can be picked up in disembarkation. So to avoid this hassle, make sure you don't have anything packed in the items that Royal Caribbean does not allow on their ships. Moreover, if you show up with anything dangerous or illegal, you may be denied boarding. And my last tip for cruise ship etiquette is don't leave a big mess to your cabin steward. Your cabin attendant is responsible for making sure that your cabin is clean and tidy throughout your cruise. They'll refresh your towels daily, make your bed, empty the trash, deliver important documents, and leave fun towel animals. It is, however, disrespectful to clutter around your room that interferes with their ability to do their job. They're not your mom. In fact, if you leave a big mess, they'll often clean around this. This is to mainly protect themselves in the event of being accused of taking something from a passenger's cabin. While having things laying around your cabin is inevitable, try to consolidate the mess. You'll also appreciate coming back to a tidier space. There you have it, 20 rules of cruise ship etiquette that no one really ever tells you, but you should do on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Let me know in the comments below which of these tips do you agree with and which of these maybe we should have added to our list. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments below the video. While you're below our video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube bless you with a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.